Damn, I don't think that shit gonna catch me though. Hold on, let me see this shit. We good? Like, fuck, bro, I've been trying for like 50 years already. Oh, is there a party somewhere? Put your tamborazo. Yeah, I don't you know, y'all can't hear that shit though. Buy him a pinch of tamborazo at y'all or something. The fuck? Nobody near us. Alright, man. Hopefully, y'all having a good, amazing day. May God bless y'all, man, and everything you do. Make sure no crocodile get me. Nah, I'm playing. I don't even live where crocodiles live, but you never know. But anything you're going through or anything that happened to you, good as hell, good as fuck, like, thank God, you know, thank Jesus Christ. And I got my Bible with me today, my Bible, bro. And I've been reading John. And I, it's like my, I don't know how many times I read John. The fuck? Like, whatever I say in this, bro, whatever I say in this, you know, that's my knowledge from, like, about God, about Jesus, and what he says, so I could be wrong, and I'm just learning, you know, this this process right here is about learning, and hopefully y'all don't hear the cicadas, bro, them bitches loud as hell, I right, Peter, bro, there's a verse right here that always gets me, bro, and hopefully if I find it, bro, these fucking bugs, gang, uh, you know what, bro? I'm just gonna read this shit because I want to find this verse. So this is Peter two, one, all the way through to the end, basically. False prophets and their punishment. But false prophets are, are arose among the people, just as there will be a false teachers among you, who will secretly bring in destruction options. They will even deny the master who brought them, bringing swift destruction on themselves. Even so, many will follow their lightlessness ways. And because of these teachers, the way of the truth will be malignated. And in their greed, they will exploit you with deceit, deceptive words. Their condemnation pronounced against them a long ago. As not even ideal, and their destruction is not asleep. But who then the Native American out there, gang? Y'all hear that shit? You got a homie over there fishing. You got a dog with him. So a bro start fighting, I'm going to fight with him. But I'm by myself in the middle of the woods and shit. Well, not in the middle of the woods, but the woods, like, right there, though. There's a whole path and shit. No cap, bro. I said, there's a big ass law right there. I'm gonna use that shit. I'm gonna use anything, bro. Anyways, for if God died, not spare the angels when they sinned, but cast them into hell and committed them to chains of deepest darkness to be kept until the judgment. And if he did not spare the ancient world, even though he saved Noah. A herald of righteousness with seven others when he brought a flood on a world of the ungodly and and if by turning the cities of Sodom and Gomara Gomorrah to ashes he condemned them to extinction and male and made them an exa- an example of what is coming to the ungodly and if he rescued a lot a righteous man greatly distressed by the righteousness of the lawless for that righteous man living among them day after day was formed in his righteous soul by their lawless deeds that he saw and heard heard them the Lord knows how to rescue the godly from trial and to keep the unrighteous under punishment until the day of judgment, especially those who indulge their flesh in depra- depraved lust, deprived, depraved or deprived lust, and who despise authority. Bro, speaking about lust, bro, that's so dangerous because every time you committed it, like, bro, you f- your heart getting hardened, bro, and it keeps getting hardened and hardened, and, and that's really takes away... Um, how should you say this? Like, your heart from God will just go out, bro, out the window. 
Like you follow Jesus and all, every time you do it, bro, like that should be, that should be, um, that should be hurting your soul. Like, I'm like, bro, like you fucking up. Like, damn, I'm fucking up. Woo woo. And you trying to get better day after day. But like I also say every time, the only person that can change you is yourself. And my mama always tells me this. You got to help yourself first and then Jesus and God will help you. When you want to go where you want to go, God will meet you halfway. And I heard this from a lot of people. He will help you if you help yourself. He's always going to be there with you. He's probably, he, he honestly sitting right next to me. <laughs> you just can't see him. But I can't see him neither. He's saying, what's up? <laughs> Bold and waffle. They are not afraid to slander. The glorious ones were as angels through greater in might and power. Do not bring against them a landerous judgment from the Lord. These people, however, are like irrational animals, mere creatures of instinct, burn, born to be caught and killed. They slander what they do not understand. And when those creatures are destroyed, they also will be destroyed, suffering the penalty for doing wrong. They count it a pleasure to revel in the daytime. Bro, this shit gonna be paranoid again. That shit gonna be paranoid, bro. You just saw my eyes pop. Hopefully, the this shit looking good. They are blots and blemish reviling. They are in their disposition, disposition, while they feast with you. They have eyes full of idolaters, insatiable for sin. They entice unsteady souls. They have hearts trained in greed. Accursed children, they have left the straight road and have gone astray, following the road of Babylon, son of Basor, who loved the wages of doing wrong but was rebuked for his own transgression. A speechless donkey spoke with a human voice and restrained the prophet madness. These are waterless springs and mists driven by a storm. For them, the deepest darkness has been res reserved. Speaking about the donkey, damn, where that fool went? Yeah, I'm by myself now. I think he's standing right there. I can't tell that's a trunk. Yeah, he's standing right there. He's with a dog, he dipping. But a donkey, if I'm not mistaken, that donkey, I think it got hit or some shit by some dude. And it spoke to him saying three times, like, why would you do this or some, something like that. I could be wrong, but it was in the Old Testament. And I, and I read it. I remember reading that, too. And um, he said, why'd you do this? Woo-woo. And look, bro, imagine an a, a animal tell you that, like, woo-woo-woo. Or, like, somebody, you getting attacked by somebody. And you tell, and you're not, you're not trying to hit them nothing, bro. You just keeping it cool. Be like, man, how do you think the Lord would like make me feel if I hate this fool, you know? And uh, and you just let a pump on you and shit, and you just tell him, why'd you do this? What made you do this? Woo, woo, woo. That could really change somebody's heart, bro. No cap, that could really change somebody's heart. And this is the Ron Peter too. This, this <laughs> no, that's the second letter. I was, it's supposed to be on the first one. Look. This is about suffering of Christians. Damn, I'm the only way. There's a red card over there. Suffering as a Christian. Beloved, do not be surprised at the fury ordeal that is taking place among you to test you as though something strange were happening to you. But rejoice in so far as you are sharing Christ's suffering so that you, so that you may also be glad and shout for joy. When his glory is revealed, if you are reviled for the name of Christ, you are blessed because the spirit of glory, which is in the spirit of God, is resting on you. But let none of you suffer as a murderer, a thief, a criminal, or even as a mischief maker. Yet if any of you suffer as, as a Christian, do not consider it a disgrace, but glorify God because you bear his name. For the time has come for judgment to begin with the, with the household of God. If it begins with you, 
what will be the end of those who do not obey the gospel of God. And it is hard for the righteous to be saved. If it is hard for the righteous to be saved, what will become of the ungodly and the sinners? Therefore, let those suffering in accordance with God's will entrust themselves to a faithful creator while continuing to do good. I seen Mari Mari said this, and it's about like LGBTQ, about the Catholic Church. I'm Catholic, me personally, and I disagree what the Catholic Church did, like basically giving like a blessing, you can say, to the to the gays. And, to, and he said that no, no one has authority to do that, you know. No one in this world has authority to do that except God. But people want, not even gays, bro, too. Like, it can be anyone. And if you want blessings or, like, from God and, like, to be close with him and all. Or, like, how do I say this, bro? To knowledge you in a sense. How could, how could he give it to you the way you live it now? You know what I'm saying? He didn't give it to the gay people before, to the ungodly people before. What makes you think that it's gonna go today, now? What makes you that's gonna happen today, now? It's not, bro. You gotta get right with Christ, bro. His suffering is the most craziest thing that happened in this world. Real stuff, bro, real stuff. I'm not trying to curse, but bro, come on, gang. He suffered for you. He suffered for you, man. Bro, if you really like, first go see the steps and the things that happen while he's being, where they capture him and to the moment where he gets crucified and, and a bit after what happens when he like pops out to, the, uh, dis to his disciples. Bro, search that up, bro. Do your research on that. That, ha that opened my eyes like, damn, like, I always, like, there's a point where I believed in God. And then there's a point in high school that I didn't believe in God. And honestly, bro, like, it could, bro, he's going to destroy, not, I wouldn't say destroy, but he going to, he going to put you in the corner to make sure that you need him, that you need to rely on him. And gang, like, I, as soon as I hit to Christ, bro, it was in November. Well, I started, like, peeping it out before that, but boom, that's why I give my life to Christ in November. And that's when I start making YouTube, bro. Like, like I said, you can't, you gotta help yourself before God can help you. You know what I'm saying? So keep doing what you're doing, man, in your life. But make sure it's in a godly way, man. We all sin, bro. But you know, Christ is always there. Don't be like, oh, but Christ is always there, so I'm a sin. No, bro. Don't try to, don't try to sin. Cause if you sin, miss. Uh, accidentally, it's better that than sin. Want to do your desires, basically. And bro, like we all struggle, bro. Like, like, bro, if you catch me smoking weed, bro, that's how you know I'm going through it. You know what I'm saying? That's how you know I'm really going through it. And I stopped smoking weed for months, and I got back to it, but it's not as what it was before. But that don't mean I should keep smoking. That shit fucking me up, bro. And I'm telling you this now. I'm telling you this not because I'm. You know, like, you feel sad about me and shit, man. I don't give a fuck about that. I'm talking about you. I'm talking about this because so, you're, uh, you, uh, you're not alone, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're not alone. But, bro, I ain't going to lie to you. This video is not going to end. I got to go somewhere else because it's turning dark. So you probably won't see me now. But we got to go, though. No cap.